Yo, what's up guys? It's Gully Doom back at again with another video. And as you can see, there's a bag in the tank. There's a creature in there. I told you I was getting stuff for the tank. You had to guess what it was. This isn't the fish I'm getting, but there's two bamboo shrimp in there and two orange snails. So they're acclimating right now. And I'll take them out in a second. Okay guys, so while they're acclimating, I'm gonna put some of this discus buffer in. It'll lower the pH, because this pH is really high. Um, it's not good for the fish I'm gonna put in here, you still gotta guess. Um, but yeah, so I got bamboo shrimp, horn snails, two of each, and then I'm just gonna put some of this discus buffer in to lower the pH so that the fish can go in here safely. Okay, so I just, I just put some of the discus stuff in there and I'm just stirring it up in this container and then I'm just gonna dump it in the um, tank once it's all mixed up. Um, and if you guys don't know how to acclimate, so I do some, I do different things from people. Um, so what I do, I just float the bag for like 15 minutes, uh, get them acclimated to the temperature and then I put, take like a scoop of water, I probably double the amount of water that's in there let them acclimate, acclimate to the pH and everything, and even more to the temperature. And then sometimes I dump the store water in, which a lot of people think is bad, which it isn't really that bad. Um, but sometimes I like scoop them out, which I'm not going to because I probably won't. It's going to be kind of hard to get the shrimp out because they're really fast. So probably just going to dump the store water in there, but I don't know. So yeah, I'm just going to keep stirring this up and then... I'll be back with you guys once it's ready to put them in. Hey guys, it's been the first 15 minutes, so now it's time to take this cup. Take this cup. So I'm just gonna take the rubber band off real quick and then I'm gonna show you me scooping some water and putting it in the bag. So I'll be right back. So I just opened the bag, it was double bagged. The shrimp are in there, the uh, snail's right there, so gonna take a nice scoop of water that's too much okay this is probably a little too much but we don't have to dump all of it in so I'm gonna open the bag pull it in. yeah I'm just gonna put all of it in oops okay uh, yeah I'm just gonna put the rest in there's like a tiny bit left there we go so now, all we have to do is wait another 15 minutes, and then it's time to put these guys in the tank. And I think I'm not going to dump the store water in. I'm just going to take this net right here, this net right here, scoop them out, and then plop them in the tank. So, yeah. So I'll see you in another 15 minutes when it's ready to put these guys in. Also... These guys, th th those snails are attached and the shrimp are attached, but yeah. I have plenty of room in this tank, and then all I'm adding after that is a special fish you have to guess. Um, probably come out with a weekend, with a video, maybe tomorrow, if not next week or this coming week. So yeah, they'll do really good with the fish. Um, also, these snails, they're horned snails, they're really cool. Um, and the fish that I'm getting will actually eat the baby snails that they make. Um, the reason that I'm not putting these nearite snails in there is because the nearite snails, they only reproduce in brackish water. Um, well, they only, re they only reproduce, well, see, like, those white spots, these are all nearite snail eggs, but they're not fertile. They're only fertile if it's in brackish water. Um, so... They won't make any babies for the fish I'm getting to eat. Um, that's why I got new snails. Also, these new snails, they look way cooler. So, yeah. And then uh, I could take some babies out from these snails and put them in the big tank since I like the way they look. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. And then we're going to put these guys in. Okay, guys. <clears throat> it's been 15 minutes. So, it means that it's time... Take the shrimp and the snails out of the tank. So, 
Because I'm going to try to get a good angle for the camera so I can do this with two hands. Okay, guys, so this is the best angle I could get. It's okay. You guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to scoop these guys out. Oh, look at that. I got two shrimp and a snail. I'm just gonna go like that. Okay, there we go. And then this last snail I'll just take out with my hand. Okay. Last snail. Take it out. Yeah, this store water's pretty dirty. As you can see, this guy's got spikes on it, really cool. I don't know if you can see that very well. But yeah, you got spikes on it, really cool. So, plop this guy in. Of course he goes in upside down, it's okay. And then I'm going to fix this tree. And then one of the snails is back here, uh, one of the shrimp, there we go. So we got two bamboo shrimp and two horned snails. I'm gonna fix this because I think I kinda buried him. There we go. That's good. So, yeah, as you can see, this store water is pretty dirty. It's got a bunch of stuff in it and, like, has a yellow tint to it. So I'm just going to dump this out in the sink right there. Put this right in the garbage. All right, so, um, this could be the end of the video, um, but you might see me get a fish because I might be going to get a fish tomorrow, the last part of this tank. Um, look at that, he's on the filter. So yeah, so this might be the end of the video, but <clears throat> you might be seeing me get a new fish in the fish store I go to, or just see me acclimate a new fish, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this part of the video, if this isn't the end. Um, I'll do an outro separately. Um, if this is the end. But, uh, yeah. See you later. Okay guys, I just got the pea puffers. I got two of them. So if you guessed pea puffer for my last couple of videos that I told you to guess what fish I'm getting, you were right. So I'll see you at home when I'm acclimating them. Okay guys, so I got the pea puffers. I'm bringing them up to the tank to get ready for acclimation. I'm not gonna show you acclimation because I already showed you earlier in the video what I did yesterday when I added the shrimp and the snails. So. Gotta turn the light on real quick. Open the lid. In go the pea puffers. So now, just like you saw yesterday, all I gotta do, wait 15 minutes, add a little bit of water to get them acclimated to the pH, then wait another 15 minutes, and then after that, I'll be back with you guys and show you guys me putting them in the tank. Now, earlier in the video yesterday, I told you that the pH is too high, but I used this discus buffer and now the pH is perfect. Nitrates are perfect, everything is perfect. So I'll see you guys when they're done acclimating. All right guys, so let me just turn this light on real quick. The pea puffers are fully acclimated. So this, the store water from this bag is dirty. Um, and it's basically mostly my water, so I'm just gonna put them in. I'm just gonna dump the whole bag in. So I'm gonna get you guys a good angle real quick, and then I'll be right back. 
All right, guys. So got you guys an okay angle. So I'm just gonna take the pee puppers. Just grabbing the bag. I'm just gonna grab the corner of the bag. Go like this, and then dump them out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got stuck in the bag. Hold on. One of them's in, but this guy got stuck. All right, now they're all they're all out. Okay. So hopefully that guy's okay. I'll check on him. Got stuck in the, he should be fine. He just got stuck in the bag for a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't puff up because it's not too good for him. But he's fine. He's okay. He's fine. So yeah, that's basically all I need to do. I'm just gonna turn the light on real quick. So you guys can see them better. Um, and then I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. As you can see, one is back there. They're hiding right now. They're both back there, though. You can see them. Oh, this guy's coming around. He's right there. Here he is. And there's the other one by the Christmas tree. And then, you saw earlier in the video, I put... Put these guys in. Hold on, I can't. You can kind of see the shrimp back there. They're hiding behind that plant, and then there's one of the snails, and then the other snails back behind the decoration. But yeah, pea puffers are in. Their names are Kirby and Cosmo. Um, comment down below what you think I should name the two shrimp. Um, two separate names for the shrimp. But yeah, I named these guys, so one pea puffer's Kirby, the other one's Cosmo. Um, and then comment down below what you think I should name. Uh, the shrimp back there. Can't see them very well. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what you think I should name the shrimp. Uh, turn the notification bell on. That's it for this video. See you later.